Hey, 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 everybody. It is good to see everybody here once again for the second to last map of the Master Levels for Doom 2. Played through GZ Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty using the Z Doom interface by Zippy. Yes, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and yeah, if I didn't already say that. <laughs> So we are in Gurion.wad, which is the sixth canto of Inferno, uh, by John W. Anderson, a.k.a. Dr. Sleep. Gurion is the sixth canto in Dr. Sleep's Inferno series. This level is a little more spread out than previous efforts, but it provides for a nice and leisurely jaunt through hell. Let's do it. Ooh, it's so nice and quiet right now gives us the opportunity to gather up the supplies that we may need. So let's do that right now. It also uses this awesome music track, which I do love. But now is where the enemies are going to start appearing, so let's go. I love doing that, just one shotgun shell to take care of both of them. Now, we will go through this door, but we will not do so right now. Because we have more enemies to kill, including that pesky chain gunner up above, so make sure that he dies. Now, down here is our first major item of this level which is the backpack. Make sure to grab that. I'm going to do this map in a specific order, um, getting the power-ups as we get to them in the best way possible, and as early as possible as well. So now we will go through this door. Wow, three zombie men are toast. Now, the first thing to do, there are stairs going up, there's an unmarked secret area on the right side, and there's a door on the left side. The first thing we're going to do is go up the stairs. Yes, watch out. Chain Gunner will come for you. But at least we have the Chain Gun now. Don't worry about the imps down inside the pit. Our goal is not to go through this door on the other side of this large room, but rather, our goal is just to grab up the items that we may need and kill all the enemies. Now that the area is clear, we can focus on the imps. Yeah, there's a switch right there, and if you're very careful, well, first let's kill the imps. They are a serious problem and a plague upon me. If you're careful, you can go right on the edge. If I can do it right. I mean, you literally have to be on the edge. Just... Hmm. Worked last time. There we go. It may take some wiggling around and, uh... You know, making sure that you get in the right position, but you can do it. Otherwise, you have to fall in the slime pit and take lots of damage as you're waiting for the soul, or, or as you're waiting for this to raise up. So now we'll drop down. There's an unmarked secret area on the right side, right here, which has the super shotgun. Ah, thank you, Cacodemon. Killed the zombie man. Now watch out, this area can be a little bit tricky, though not too bad. Where'd that cacodemon go? There you are, buddy. Playing hide and seek with me. Or maybe Peekaboo. Well, Peekaboo. Yeah, he's playing with me, alright. Come on, Ice. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I don't want to play anymore. We'll just use the chain gun. There we go. Ah, he goes peekaboo forever now. He will never raise back up again. Oh, yes, this area. 
I like to use this corner right here as my hold point. As I take care of the Revenant and the Spectre, it's not too dangerous. But we finally have, ladies and gentlemen, the BFG 9000 of the map. It will really come in handy at the end of this map later on, and you'll see when that will be. Make sure to come over here to the other side to kill that lone shotgunner. Alone. Oops, I didn't mean to fire. My mouse... I do that in almost every video. My mouse button is so sensitive. The slightest touch makes it fire. So let's head back up, and uh, we'll go back the way we came. To these two doors. So which door do we go through next? Well, let's go through the unmarked secret area. It will basically take us to where that Kakademon was playing uh, peekaboo with me. Lucky shot. But it will also take us to this room behind some bars. Now keep mind of this room behind these bars. We will be to the other side later on. For right now, that's it. That's all we can do in this unmarked secret area. Except kill more enemies that open up in a trap. I kind of forgot about that, but... Luckily it wasn't too bad of a trap, at least I saw it was coming. And the last door we'll go through is this one on the left side. This room is very dark, I know. There's no light amplification visors. Okay, so one note here about this room with the shotgun shells. Let's go to the left side first to demonstrate. I got the shells, right? Now we'll run through in this hallway. Make sure to kill that shotgunner. Now, this teleporter will take you to an already explored area. But if you're good at strafe running, because see, you can't get back up on the zigzag platform or this one, but you can use the shotgun ledge to do so, just like this. I don't know. Let's see. Do you really have to use a strafe? You don't, actually. All you got to do is run to the very tip of that zigzag, and you should be able to make it. I really don't want to take the teleporters. They're... It's just a waste of time. Man, this area is... I can't see very well. This teleporter also takes you to a familiar area, but you want to come in both of these little hallways because of the enemies. That's the reasoning. We'll continue progressing. These two doors will automatically open up. And we're here where we sniped off the chain gunner from below. Now notice on this wall, there's... We don't see anything, right? Well, let's press the switch. But watch out, it turns into a crushing ceiling. That's... that's dangerous. But now notice that there's an arrow pointing to an unmarked secret area. That's one curious thing about this map, is there's a lot of unmarked secret areas. But we have the chainsaw, which I don't think we'll see much use at all. So let's go back. And the doors will not automatically open until you step backwards, so... Oh, really? I didn't want to fall back down. Okay, so the only place we have not been to yet is up the stairs and beyond the Soul Sphere area. Through this door. Aha, remember the bars I said to keep note of? We're now on the other side. Let's use the chainsaw. Yes, I'm getting pelted from behind. Maybe not the wisest idea. But it's my idea. Big Mac Davis has a wild side. Yes, he does. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is... I guess we can ride this lift up first. Why not? We're here. I have 169 bullets. Well, uh, it got ruined. 
This is a dead end up here, but it's nice to have. Yes, it's a nice to have dead end. I guess I could have chainsawed this guy, but eh, wasn't thinking of it. So now we'll go back down and we'll continue to this stim pack. Now this stim pack has the only secret area of this map. Actually, there are two secret areas stacked on top of each other, so make sure that they both tag, like that right there. We got the full map, so here's what we have coming up next. Just a little, just a little glance, just a little sneak peek. Just take care of the couple of enemies in here, nothing too bad. And we come to a supposedly dead end with a blue door. Well, the thing you have to do is open up the left wall. Yeah, it's unmarked, but it's required. Technically, I guess it is marked, because it, it, it does have a, uh, a face on it. This uh, invisibility sphere actually does help out. There's nothing else you can do here except go to the right side and run through the slime. There is no um, radiation suit, so press the switch. The invisibility sphere kind of gives you an upper hand on these guys uh, some of the time. We'll continue going around the circle. Yeah, make sure you press that switch over there, by the way, that I did that opened up the enemies, because now it will open up the blue key as well. <laughs> this is why the invisibility sphere helps out, my friends. Yes. Doom guy can just run in and run out. He doesn't even have to deal with these guys if he don't want to. But he does. He wants to see all flesh rended. He will rend flesh and stomp out life. That's what he does. So now we can head through the blue door now. Yeah, now we can head through the blue door now. Have the rocket launcher. And we'll head out quickly before we die. Okay, yeah, I really don't want to die. Not this late in the map. We're almost done. We just got a little more areas to explore. Now, there's two switches here and a door in between the switches. The first area we're going to go to is on the right side. The right switch will lower this down, and we can head through here. Yes, come on, Baron. I want you to come up here with me. Oh, gosh. That's not good when the BFG doesn't work like that, and you have to resort to, uh, being cornered. But the plasma gun is now ours, so... Do the same thing for the other side. Except we want to be very slow, very quiet, and just rush around this corner. It doesn't matter which corner you rush behind, just make sure you do it to both. For a couple of revenants. If you're really ballsy, you can use the Berserk Pack to punch out both of the revenants. I've done that in a practice run, and I got down to 5% health and then I died later on, so I don't do that. Now we'll take the door in between the two switches. Yes, let's use my chainsaw. We got a couple of lost souls to deal with. I mean, normally I just use the super shotgun on them, but I'm feeling that the chainsaw does not get enough love, as it should. There we go. Oh, yes, that was just... that was beautiful. And that guy skewered on that pole is still living. So are these imps, who are now dead. Okay, so, okay, which switch was it? I gotta remember. So, facing the door we use to get to this room, if we go to the left and ride this up by pressing that switch, and pressing this switch, it will open up a teleporter right here. Do we want to take this teleporter or not? I'm going to say no. 
It just leads to the soul sphere in the slime area. Rather, I think we want to take the teleporter on the right side, so... I'm hoping I'm correct here. Let's go through here and take this one. Yes, I am correct. So, the other teleporter that you saw will just take you to a familiar area. Don't take the teleporter just yet. Flip the switch. This area is not too bad. I like to save my bigger weapons for later on. We'll grab the Mega Sphere and press the switch. I'm not sure what that does, though. Okay, the easiest way to deal with this area, it's a very rough area, is to use the Plasma Gun initially. Okay, with that done, BFG time. Go. That wasn't too bad. Wow, I am actually very surprised. I am happy with that result. Have the rocket launcher and the plasma gun. If you don't have those guns from before, <laughs> you're in a world of hurt. Or even the BFG for that matter. This room is awesome with all the stars up above and the Hell Knight up there wanting to kill me. It's just an awesome day for Doom Guy to be alive. Doesn't matter which stairs you go up, they both lead to the same area. But we have one last test of our skills. <sighs> Make sure you have at least one BFG shot remaining when you press the switch that arch vial right there. We'll gather up all of the items and the mega sphere and I think that's everything. Yeah, everybody is now dead and collected. Let's go. Oh man, I love this map so much. It is one of my personal favorites from the master levels that I played. Now obviously there are some maps that are better than this one, but it is one of my favorites. I don't know what it is about it I enjoy so much, I just love the exploration factor of this one. There are many doors in this map, and many doors take you to many areas. Most of them lead to dead ends. But those dead ends, you feel like you've accomplished something. Because all of the dead ends take you to special items like backpacks, and super shotguns, and plasma guns, and rocket launchers, and BFGs! <laughs> Oh my! Yeah, call it Wizard of Oz, oh my! I don't know, I mean, there, texturally speaking, there's not much going on, but gameplay-wise, it's rock-solid. It is incredibly fun to play. Just to go in and just kill everything. Um, Dr. Sleep gives you plenty of ammo to play around. Now, the starting ammo factor can be a little bit troublesome if you're not careful with your shotgun shells, but once you get the backpack and, and then uh, a couple boxes of shotgun shells, you're ready to rip and tear until it is done. So, that was Guryong, the sixth canto of Inferno, and uh, we will move on to the menu for the very last time. It's almost over, guys. We have one more master level to go. And that is Vesperus Wa, the seventh canto in Dr. Sleep's Inferno series. So, until then, until our very last session together with the Master Levels, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I shall see you next time. So take care, everybody.